Right, today I'm show you how to weld using just a few, maybe two or three uh, 12 volt lead acid batteries. And I'm show you my setup here. So I got two lead acid battery, each is 12 volts, so connected in series. And now they are 24 volts. The positive lead go out to my uh, electrode holder. This is the electrode holder I bought from Harbor Freight for like, say, $15 or so. And the electrode here, God, is uh, also from Harbor Freight. And that's the box where it came from. Okay. And the negative end, I use uh, just a jumper cable for uh, for the car. I use both of them to, to double the, uh, the size of the wire. I use both of them in the same terminal and go out to ground, which is this thing here that I want to weld together. And uh, I'm going to show you how I weld with 24 volt first. Okay. And then uh, I'm going to connect three of them to produce 36 volt later on. Uh, Welding with 24 volts uh, is uh, is less dangerous, I would say, because it produces less sparks. If you have three of these connected in series to produce 36 volts, uh, I think it's easier to weld, but it's going to produce a lot more sparks. But uh, I'm just going to do both today. Right, ready to weld with uh, 24 volts. show you the weld in a close-up doesn't look pretty and uh, it doesn't really produce good spark that's for 24 volts so I have connected my batteries to 36 volt so all series so plus here minus plus minus plus and then this end here is ground. So it's gonna go here. Okay, that's my ground. Now it's 36 volts. And let's see if we can uh, weld it a little bit better. Alright, time to weld 36 volts. As you can see, it's a lot more energetic. It eats away my electrode real fast. Real fast real quickly so now I have to change the new electrodes for 36 volt all right one more time
Right, I think I'm done. Let me show you my wild. The world's ugliest wild you've ever seen. But you know what? It works. And that's all I need. So I'm trying to fix this wheel here. It, uh, it came off of the axle, of this axle here. So that would do. And let me show you on the other side. You see this hole? So you can see on the camera, this hole right here. I made a hole through the metal piece. See that? It's not just ugly, it's, it made a hole through the metal. But anyway, it works, so uh, that's all I need. And you know, you know this is a cheap way to, uh, to weld. Uh, if you don't have a welding machine, just three battery and uh, an electrode. You can weld anything. And as you can see, 36 volts is a lot easier and faster and more energetic. Easier to weld and uh, <laughs> a bit too strong for this uh, piece of steel. It's a very thin piece of steel, so uh, but uh, it works for me. And uh, so let me show you my helmet. This helmet here from Harbor Freight, also, and this is very good got for like thirty five dollars after the coupon and uh, it's got a solar panel and it's auto darkening so when you're not welding you can still see everything and then when you actually weld the spark the light create from the spark will activate the solar panel give the power to darken uh, the uh, the screen here it's all automatic and then when when the spark stop it automatically turns back to clear screen so you don't have to flip up and down your your helmet like the older kind so it's, it's very good and I'm not advertising for Harbor Freight I mean you can get from any hardware store uh, Harbor Freight, Lowe's, Home Depot and that's pretty much it let's see here Chicago electric welding helmet and you can adjust the sensitivity also of course that all right folks that's all I have I don't use much stuff here just three batteries an electrode holder and electrode and then the helmet that's all I have to weld nothing special all right folks and uh, so I have here. Thank you for watching. All right, try. It. Okay, go backward. Uh. Tons. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to go backward, isn't it? There you go, backward. Pretty good. <laughs>